so I did my high school uh, late 70s so I didn't know any lesbian or homosexual like the only thing that we knew about that community is really the really bad sad stories that would be in the newspaper or the picture you would see were really uh, uh, degrading is it the word in English wait uh, like so so then you are you really struggle because you you know that you are not heterosexual but at the same time the, the only images that you have from the LGBT community like you don't feel like you belong there as well and, and then so you are really struggling because you're, you're just wondering okay who I am exactly, I, I don't belong anywhere. So it took a while uh, before I had the chance to meet other lesbian and it was in the sport environment. So I guess for my first years in life, it was, I didn't belong anywhere, even in the LGBT community, I couldn't fit there. And it took some time. And eventually it was very slow. Like I told you with some teammates, uh, in the sport environment. Uh, and, and when I think about my journey, uh, I'm always amazed of the amazing people that, that made a difference in my life. And it's always a question whether, you know, do they happen to you? Do, do, do you choose them? Do you, you know, do you reach out? And when I think about Gaston, it's a bit of both because he did open the door, but you know, at 13, 14, just after an accident, living with this wheelchair, being the only one in a wheelchair, uh, you know, I think uh, I, I could have said no. And um, somehow uh, I, you know, I said yes to, to what was offered to me. And it, it, really, um, it really changed my life. And I know we're going to be talking about belonging. And, and this was really my, my first experience as a newly person, you know, as a newly person with a disability to get a sense that I could still be belong even if I was in that case, the only one in the whole town in a wheelchair. Um, taking ownership of that and like really saying all these things have happened and I'm not gonna be embarrassed or ashamed of where I come from or of my journey or, um, a lot of things that you cannot change about yourself. And as soon as I started to really own those things and understand that, that's when I felt a sense of belonging. And it was because then I um, was secure in those things. And I think that a lot of times you cannot belong with other people or with other groups if you yourself do not feel that sense of security, of worth and of value. Wow, I had all these opportunities. I had a loving middle class family who was willing to do anything for me. And I still didn't feel like I belonged, but I had all these opportunities. So now let's layer on the complexity of all the challenges we know children face who don't look like me and the privileges that I have and they don't have. Um, how hard would it be to just get by? But over time, my sense of belonging has come through my self-confidence. My self-confidence has come from acceptance and being accepted by people. But I also know that at the end of the day, you know, um, having gone to school, grown up as a cis male with privilege, who's professionally educated, who has a professional accreditation as a chartered professional accountant, uh, my experience is different than a lot, a lot of other people. So there's another sense of layer of belonging about where you know, and I'm finding more people who have experiences like me, as opposed to someone who's in the 20s and 30s, who's trying to find their way through life as a trans male, trans female, as a gender non-conforming individual, um, that at the end of the day, um, you know, belonging really, it, you know, it really is um, circumstantial in terms of, uh, of the way that in terms of where you live in your society. So really what it comes down to is it's the people that are around you who really help to create that sense of comfort and that sense of belonging. And um, we moved numerous times over the last 22 months before coming back here. We moved five times. And um, every single one of those places, 
we found a new sense of belonging. And it was usually because of the people who were around us and um, the joy that they brought to our lives and the experiences, the amazing experiences that we had in each of those individual places. In, in that journey of discovery, um, I found out who I really was and that got expressed through my values of courage and compassion and community. So everything that I stand for, everything that I do, um, my systems of belief always come back to those three core values and I have used them to nourish um, uh, all my choices, my decisions, and hopefully they, they are reflected in my actions. So what I would offer is, you know, feeling like I belong, feeling like my voice matters, like I can make a difference too, that I can shape um, the and co-create the experience that I'm in is so fundamentally part of who I am.